Exercise 15. In 2011, the Wichita company had net sales at retail of $148,000 and were given information about the beginning inventory and cost of goods purchased at both cost and retail. The above additional information is available from its records at the end of 2011. We're asked to use the retail inventory method to estimate Wichita's 2011 ending inventory at cost. Normally when we calculate cost of goods sold, we start out with beginning inventory. We add the cost of goods purchased, gives us cost of goods available for sale, and then we would subtract ending inventory to calculate what was sold. Using the retail inventory method, we switch this around. We subtract what's sold to give us ending inventory. The retail inventory method is a way to estimate the ending inventory, and it uses the relationship between cost and retail. Beginning inventory at cost is $33,700, to which we add $44,414 of goods purchased. These goods are available for sale. The retail value of the units in beginning inventory is $66,000. The retail value of the goods purchased is $100,200. So the retail value of the goods available for sale is $166,200 from which we subtract the sales. And sales, of course, is at retail. That's what the customer pays. To calculate the value of ending inventory at retail, and what we do is we look at the relationship between cost and retail at the available for sale level. If you take $78,114 and divide by $166,200, the relationship between cost and retail is 47%. Cost is 47% of retail. And if that relationship applies at goods available for sale, it also applies to the ending inventory. The cost is 47% of the retail. So if we take $18,200 multiplied by 47%, ending inventory at cost is estimated to be $8,554.